Travis Harden, you've been out to Standing Rock for a, a good deal of time. You're not there now. You're on the Wheels of Justice uh, tour. But what's the latest? It's the 23rd of October. What have you heard? Well, I've heard, uh, first I heard there was uh, over 100 people that were arrested yesterday. I saw the videos and I saw how the the, um, the police surrounded the people and there were just, there was a per peaceful uh, protest, a, a prayer. They went there to pray. That's what they do. They're not trying to ha have any violence or anything. They're not trying to, you know, cause trouble. They go to the site where they're where they're working, getting closer and closer to our camp. They're only two miles away now, and they're, and so they try to they pray at the spot where they're they've been working at night and day, and um, so then they, they surround the police, the army of police and, and SWAT surrounded the people, and they they ended up chasing them, and the people were were running <laughs> just like it was in Wounded Knee, you know they. They ran for the rivers and the gullies, and that's what happened yesterday, and that's what I saw. And I just feel bad because I'm not there, you know. And I wish I was there, but this is important too. This wheels of justice, you know, and uh, comparing the uh, the marches that Martin Luther King believed in, you know, that's kind of what we we believe. We have a dream too to stop to save our water and and have a you know a good clean water too. So let's start, you know, for those who really don't know, mu know much about this, you have uh, no dapple yeah. there. Explain from the beginning, what's that about? Well, it's called the D dapple pipeline, the Dakota access pipeline. They even used our, our tribe, you know, Dakota, Lakota, uh, you know, and they're in the name of their their um, company, and this big black snake that we're trying to stop to, that, that may contaminate our Missouri River and our Oglala Aquifer that goes all the way down to Oklahoma. The whole Midwest is affected by this this uh, evil black snake they're trying to build underneath our Missouri River. And, you know, it's happened so many times in so many places. And this is such a big uh, amount of people that that you have the water to drink that uh, from the Missouri River and the uh, Oglala Aquifer. Uh, you know, Google it and see how, how many people will be affected. Now, if you could just say a little bit about your own ethnic background. Yeah, I come from a family of warriors and and uh, um, human rights activists. And my uncle was Russell Meads and Ted Meads, Madonna Thunderhawks, my aunt, and, and my aunt Phyllis Young and Mabel Ann Phillips and Bill Meads and, and Dace Meads. Um, you know, so our whole family has been struggling and fighting the struggle of our, of our people. You know. Or ever since I was a young man, young boy, or, or not a young boy, but since I was a young young guy, I, you know, I, I learned how to sing, and that's what I do at the camp. I, I use my drum and I sing, and I sing at different places because, you know, our music is so powerful in our in our culture, and uh, you know, I'm Ho Chunk and I'm I'm uh, Lakota, and uh, you know, I'm really proud to be a Native American, and I just wish I was at camp, but this is important too, so I'm really proud to be here to. To learn all I can to take back to the camp and try to spread the word about uh, the, the, the DAPL pipeline that we're trying to stop. How long were you at the camp? Now you're from South Dakota. This is all happening in North Dakota. Yeah, I was there. I tried to get there. It took me a while to get there, but I was there for almost uh, like two, almost two months. And um, you know, I was. It's just uh, such a beautiful place, beautiful thing. You got all these people, you know, thousands of people all coming together. And uh, there's more coming. There's some people have to leave. We, have, you know, some a lot of people have to work, but they come and they show their support of, from all races. I mean, from even a, from the other side of the world, we have people from Tibet and London, and you know, just different countries and places, and but mostly all over from this Turtle Island, North America. Now, you're on the Wheels of Justice tour. The uh, first Congregation of Church of Old Lyme. Is sponsoring it. They sent uh, a van full of uh, food and supplies out to, uh, to to Standing Rock. And then I also see on on the drum it says "Progressive for Palestine." Could you explain that? Yeah, I've been to Palestine, and it's it's the same thing going on over there. You know, there's a a government, and you know, and it's all back behind United States money that they give they give uh, Israel. Um, Four billion a year for military support. When the, you know, the Palestine people—that's that was their land, and they're getting it all taken. And it's like the reservations now, and it's down to small dots. You know, of land that 
and they're still building their settlements everywhere. And you know, it's the same plight of the Palestinian as the of us, and the Lakota people, the Native American people. You know, and they're using the water over there. They're damming up the water, and now it's the same kind of thing is happening again here. It's re history is re repeating itself. You know, through the the uh, the cops and the the gov governor of North Dakota is doing to our people. And, you know, using that to, to try to stop us from stopping the, the pipeline that may contaminate our, uh, thousands and thousands of people, uh, people's drinking water. Because water is life. And we say mini michoni, that's what it means. Water is life. And the, the, on this trip, you know, I, every time I drink water, it tastes so good, you know. And, you know, I'm just worried about our, our, our children and grandchildren. So they have clean water where we have to be supplied on the government for water like the like the Palestinians are having to, having to go through now. Thank you very much.